I'm gonna cut a hole in the floor. Cutting a hole, are you? What do you think I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> so our next step, now that we have all ripped out, we cleaned it up, and now we're gonna lay down another layer of insulation. Basically, we just ripped it out, and now we're putting another one down. So I think this is pretty much where the drain's gonna be. We have our gray water tank right there, and I think our drain should be able to fit right up there in that space. So now we begin to create the actual mold for the shower pan. I was told mold was bad for your showers, but here it goes. 27 by five. Ah, I forgot the tape measure. Nope, never mind. Right here. All right, let's draw that line. This is what we're gonna cut the actual angle of the shower, the slope into it to make sure the water actually drains. I'm gonna try to get it so it's one fourth of an inch for every foot. Right here, this is where the shower head and faucet will be. And then there'll be a slope here, a drain. This will be the lowest point. And then this entire thing here will slope down to the one foot mark. We actually just poured a water bottle on this just to see if it actually drained. But if you want to see that, you have to go to our TikTok, so go follow us there too. But here, we're just going to continue to seal all the cracks with some silicone. Now I'm going to put a layer of leak seal on it, which is just any brand of your generic rubber coating waterproof sealing. All right, well, that's good enough. Now that we have the frame built and a layer of waterproofing down, we need to run to the store and go grab some stuff. All right, well, hopefully they have what we need here. Otherwise, we're gonna be at an all-time lows. Oh, brother, get what it. the yeah. heck? How lows can I get? Nah, I'm not good at bingo. Not bingo, <laughs> bling. Limbo, is that what the name is? Oh, turn it off, turn it off. Nope. She's a little uh, top-heavy, you know. <laughs> Our shower? Can't throw this. Why does it even turn on? <laughs> yeah, it did. It, like, you know, I actually really like Lowe's. I can see myself working here one day. <laughs> Look, they're all out of blue paint. And? I know, that one was out of the blue. <sighs> hey, uh, how long do you want the wood? No, no, I was, I was planning on keeping it. You need some fertilizer? Yeah, I would, but they're only limiting two bags per person. There's so much crap you can take. Man, people are so quick to take offense these days. That was a good one, folks. You know why you can't make money selling batteries? Why? Because they'd have to be free of charge. All right, I'm done. We're done with this. Yeah, I am getting kind of bored of these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> these nice bamboo, they're, they're nice. Aloe, these little stone rocks here. We're done. So we filled the gaps with some foam and now we're gonna clean it up. And now we're gonna make the move that will probably actually matter the most. This is what makes it a shower and not just a, uh, well, probably a swimming pool. All right, so we drilled out the hole and now this fits in there perfectly, but we still need to fiberglass the edges here. So we want this to be a little bit bigger. That way when this is fiberglass on here, this still fits. So we're gonna take this Dremel out the inside. Before we start mixing anything, I'm gonna cut up the cloth into little sections that uh, it'll just make it easier to use when I have other chemicals and stuff going on. All right, yeah, so that's it. This is uh, our shower pan. I'm gonna keep sanding this down, then going to probably paint over it with some sort of water seal. I'm not gonna get to that though in this video because this video is already like three weeks due and this needs to get out. I didn't actually film the process of the fiberglassing because working with the camera and other harmful chemicals was just a tricky process. It was super simple. You just take some of this stuff, take some of the hardener of this stuff and you mix it up and then you stir it around. And this is the paintbrush I used, which is now 
completely solid. Then you paint some of that on your surface and then you take the fiberglass cloth. I don't have any of that around here. We'll use paper towels as an example. Take your fiberglass cloth and lay that down. You dip it back into the fiberglass mix and then you paint it on. And you just let that harden. Hey folks, thanks for watching. That was a shower video. We are super stoked that it's almost done. So uh, stay tuned for more videos and details about that coming soon. Hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Can we say that or not? Can we say how we're doing the whole like cheesy hit the comment button? Yeah, go for it. Hit the comment button. Okay. The lighting in here is terrible, but thanks for watching. Don't die. Like I almost just did. That way you can go back and watch our videos.